Well, good morning, and I think it's time for another story. Today, I'd like to share with you a story about when I first bought my little house. It was a major fixer-upper. I was uh, all by myself, but bound and determined to do it on my own. Now, this house, when I bought it, had at least three to five foot high weeds all the way around. Had some really good neighbors that came in and helped me get the first level down. But I noticed that there were these flower beds that had massive amounts of grass and weeds. Oh, at least two, three feet tall. Knew I had to take care of that. Well, I had a gas-powered weed whacker. And uh, I also knew that because this property had been empty for a long time, there were snakes around. There was a big holding pond just to the back of my property, and it was an invitation for snakes. I hate snakes. I really hate snakes. Sorry. I'm sure they've got a good soul. But I knew that I was not going to get down on my hands and knees and start pulling weeds and grass in a three-foot high area because I knew that there'd be snakes there. Well, I thought, have firing up that gas electric uh, weed whacker, I knew that alone, the sound should scare those snakes off, let alone the vibrations. Well, I went in and started whacking those weeds. I was really doing a good job. Pretty soon I forgot all about snakes when, woo! Right there, there it was. It was like that big around, and I whacked it with the weed whacker. I started screaming. I lift the weed whacker up in the air, and I'm running around screaming in my yard. Wah! After about five minutes of the weed whacker in the air, and I'd forgot to shut it off, I realized, Gail, there isn't anybody to help you on this. You've got snake guts all over up there. You whacked it with the weed whacker. You saw the body flip. You got to deal with it. Went to the side of the house, pulled the big, great, big black garbage can on wheels over to the side of the fence closest to the flower bed. Got the longest shovel that I had with a big flat base on it because I thought I got to get those snake parts out of there. Got to put them in the garbage. Took me 25 minutes to walk back over there. Self-talking, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I went over, I grabbed that big old shovel, and I could see part of a snake underneath the grass. I knew it was going to be guts everywhere. I reached in with the shovel, just barely touched it, and that snake flipped! It wasn't in pieces! I just knocked the air out of it or something unconscious, and it started moving. There I was, running around with the shovel in the air, screaming, screaming, screaming. And the neighbors, yep, they wondered, what kind of loony bin have we got here? And that was my first encounter with a snake. Till next time.